thank you for being here, dear soul. It's Kenneth here. I am honored that you chose to show up and connect with me here and allowing me to be a part of your journey. We are here together for a deeper reason. During this meditation, you can choose to sit, stand, or lie down because you are free, always free. And it is good to allow yourself to let go and relax if you want to. You don't need to, but you can if you choose to. And I wonder if you can give your body a smile, a smile of gratitude for being the vehicle that your soul expresses itself through. You can smile with your eyes, your heart, your mouth. You don't need to grin from ear to ear, even though that looks good on you. Even an inner smile or an inner grin will affect your mind and body. Empowering yourself, uplifting yourself, caring for yourself. Imagine now that you are breathing in golden light that enters every part of your body. Comfortable, peaceful, and relaxing Comfortable. in the way it flows into different parts of your body while you drift deeper and deeper into the center of your inner temple. Imagine yourself walking towards a mountain. This can be a mountain that you have been to before or a mountain that you create in your mind. With each step you take, you ground yourself more and more, connecting with that mountain and connecting to the core of Mother Earth as the mother emanates her platinum white light of protection up underneath your feet and into your precious body. Imagine looking behind you, noticing that each step has left a footprint of white platinum light in the ground. As you approach the base of the mountain, there is a path that seems to continue up the mountain and the path seems to invite you to follow it. And the surroundings offer you many different things to notice. Fresh and clean air. Flowers of radiant colors. Tiny streams of emerald green water trickling down the mountain walls. And maybe there are other things that you notice that you can choose to appreciate now. Imagine that you stop by some flowers and enjoying the sight and the fragrance of the flowers circulating around you. A part of you want to reach out and pluck a flower but something stops you from doing so. The nature spirits of this place telepathically share with you that the need to pluck that flower comes from ego 
and its need to own and control. If you pluck that flower, it will wither fast. If you allow it to be connected, it can continue its natural cycle of growth and expansion. And be grateful for the beauty of it, loving without the need to own and control, loving without attachment, only love, love is enough, love is enough. And you can give thanks to the nature spirit now before you continue on the path again. With each step, allowing yourself to learn and integrate the wisdom and power of detachment. Walking steadily as the mountain is becoming steeper. And suddenly you notice in front of you that the path is blocked by a high wall of rocks. Many people choose to turn around and walk back at this point. You, however, you know that there is always a way. There is always a solution. Imagine that you start to look for a way around the wall of rocks. And there you find an almost unnoticeable trail going downwards. And a part of you may try to convince you that this is a detour. While another part of you is willing to follow this trail. And after a while, you come to an opening surrounded by the mountain. And then you notice it, a set of stairs ascending upwards. You intuitively get a sense to follow the stairs. Imagine parts of the steps and the mountain walls glimmering from the crystals growing within the rock, harmoniously emanating radiant colors and light. The natural healing energy of this mountain is lovingly embracing you. And you are doing good. After a while, you notice further up the stairs, an old monk sitting on the stairs, meditating. He opens his eyes, welcomes you with a smile and a slow nod. He then acknowledges you for your courage to continue the path past the blockage, your decision to find a way led you here. What looked like a detour was actually the right path, the highest path for you. Without that block on your path, you would not have come here. Often what seems to be a hindrance to the ego is a gift of opportunity for the soul. And as you look back at the steps you have walked, the monk says to you, it is okay to look back at the steps one has taken in life. 
just be sure that you don't end up staring. If you do, you will recreate your past in your present and future. The empowering way to look back is looking back with a focused intention to accept, forgive, learn, heal, appreciate, grow, and expand. This will initiate you to the next levels of your evolution. He reaches into his pouch and he takes out the rose gold medallion. He hangs it over your neck. The rose gold medallion lights up. And then he points at your heart, looking deep into your eyes, and he says, your journey is inwards. Everything you are looking for is found inside here. And then he sits down on the stairs again and he starts to chant. And the living light codes of God's source in this chant reverberates through the mountains, lakes and rivers, through the heavens and the earth, through your body and consciousness. And then the wise old monk evaporates and you continue to walk up the stairs. Imagine that after a while the stairs stop as you reach a plateau on that mountain overlooking a lake that is completely still. And while you observe it, you are becoming it. The stillness of that lake, the radiance of peace, now. Imagine a bonfire by the lake, and it invites you to sit with it. You can rest here. You don't need to walk all the way up the mountain all at once. Take a rest. And from one of your sides, a small child is appearing from light into physical form. It is the five-year-old you looking at you walking towards you, carrying a small backpack, and you notice that the backpack is weighing down that little you. If it feels right for you, go over to that little child and take the backpack off, and give that precious child a warm, a loving embrace. And that little you squeeze you back 
and holds you tightly. Some people even find that they automatically start to shed a tear or two as they embrace their inner child with love and acceptance. Just allow yourself to go with whatever is happening and you're doing good. Imagine that you walk to the fire and sit down and the little you opens the backpack and hands over to you a book. This book represents all the things that you are carrying in your life that are weighing you down. Things you know about and things you are not aware of. Beliefs, attachments to people, places and things, energy cords and codependency patterns, karmic entanglements that are blocking your path, and events in your life that you unconsciously hold on to because of all those emotions still unprocessed, still attached to the events. And the little child tells you, I have to carry what you are carrying. Our subconscious mind is not bound by time. Everything is now. When you choose to heal emotional wounds as an adult, you also heal me. You set me free. And when I am free, you are free and you are the only one that can choose freedom for us and you allow yourself to take that in for a moment those words of wisdom from that little you the monk shows up again he smiles at you both. He sits down with you by the fire. He reaches for something in his pouch and it seems to be some kind of powder, golden, shimmering. He throws it into the fire and the fire turns violet. The violet fire of transmutation, soul healing, liberation, forgiveness, freedom, and unconditional love. He looks at you again, then he looks at the book and then looks at the violet fire. Telepathically, he speaks to you. Beloved child of the one living light, the time is here for you to let go of several pages in that book. Cast them into the violet flame. The violet flame will sever the cords of attachment to thought patterns, limiting beliefs, and self-sabotaging behaviors that are not serving your highest path any longer. The violet fire will untangle and dissolve soul contracts, promises, and vows made on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual planes, you will only let go of that which you are ready to let go of and decide 
to let go now. Allow yourself to start tearing out pages in the book and cast them into the violet flame. And maybe the little you joins you, or maybe the little you only wants to observe your bold action of letting go, liberating yourself and that little precious child. Now, take your time. Imagine that when you have finished burning pages in your book, you and that little child lie down by the flame. And the wise old monk watches over you while the violet flame continues to heal every aspect of your being. And the monk lets you know that as you let go now, the book of your ultimate life containing the codes of the highest version of you is being downloaded now into your consciousness and into every cell. You are aligning the story of your earthly life to reflect the purity of your highest soul expression, activating the living light codes of Source within you. And you peacefully fall asleep beside the violet fire, integrating and reinforcing the empowering changes in the deepest layers of your subconscious mind, restructuring your belief system, rebuilding and aligning your core belief structures, remembering who and what you are a spark of God's source in human form. Imagine that you wake up the next morning and you are alone. The lake is even more still. The air is fresh. And you just have this knowing that the little you is safe, loved and protected inside your loving heart. There is a voice within you that keeps saying it is time to continue your path. And you notice a new set of stairs going upwards and you start walking towards them, feeling a sense of liberation lightness and ease as you do so. Each step up the stairs seem to ground you more and more to a sense of hope and optimism about your life, about your future. Imagine that after a while you are nearing the top of the mountain and the stairs seem to end ahead of you. Reaching a new plateau, walk into that plateau. And the view is majestically beautiful.
and the feeling of accomplishment is joyfully circulating in you and you can choose to be proud of yourself for the steps you have taken to reach this high level on this majestic mountain. And suddenly you notice what looks like an eagle. You admire its grace while it flows in the air above you. It starts to fly towards you, landing in front of you, and it communicates with you, reminding you of your ability to observe life from the higher perspective, from a place of stillness and peace from a place of love, power, and wisdom. Imagine now that you become that eagle, becoming one with it. Feel the wings on your back. Focus on your back and imagine the wings growing larger and flex them out in full brilliance before flying off now. Floating freely. Remembering your innate ability to observe from a distance. To see things down there from a higher perspective. To detach and observe from a place of neutrality. This is love in action. And you view life from the eagle's perspective. Wings spread out. Understanding and accepting the bigger picture of events, accepting the full truth behind the veils, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Imagine flying over the lake with a violet fire. And imagine that it's starting to slightly rain. Every drop of rain represent the positive changes that you have made in your life now. When the raindrops land on the water surface, you notice the ripples, how one small drop creates big ripples, reflecting the power of the changes. The healing, the liberation, that is happening within you now. And the ripples merge with each other, one affecting the other. In life, everything affects everything. 
your thoughts change, your emotions change, your choices change, your actions change. And you observe it all. And you can be grateful while observing all these ripples on the lake. And you begin to fly further down the mountain, following the path you walked. You meet the monk once again, sitting on the stairs, letting you know that as you walk back into the lane of your daily life, your willingness to learn from life, to expand with life, will present new truths that you are not aware of about yourself about physical life on earth and about the truth of who you are. The monk continues, it's all about your willingness to see deeper than the surface, the willingness to love and accept yourself. and your ability to consciously understand the deeper meaning and the higher perspective will enhance with every day now more and more simply because it is time now and the monk becomes silent and you continue your flight down the mountain. And you land by the flowers that you walked by on your way up the mountain, transforming into your human form again now. The flowers have blossomed and opened up and a part of you are reminded that they couldn't have done that if you had plucked them and your ability to detach from the need to own that flower, you just let it go, connected to the love of source essence within you and the higher perspective of the small things and the big things in life. You are sovereign. You are free. Walking into the path of your precious life now. Grounded like a mountain. In a few moments the music will fade out and soon it is time to open your eyes and come fully back into your precious physical body. I'm humbly asking you to put both your hands on your heart now, and I'm doing the same now. From my heart to your heart, from my soul to your soul, thank you for your trust. Know that I believe in you. I see the light in you. <laughs>